Hey coach. Hi Balvinder. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good Balvinder. So how's captaincy going on? Amazing. I need to ask you some question. How to face an opponent? Very simple Balvinder. You just have to be confident. Confidence is the key to facing an opponent. And secondly, you have to love your opponents. Very important to love. Then finally the third thing, you have to treat your opponents like how you want them to treat you. Okay, so all these three things just keep them in mind. You'll have a positive frame of mind and I'm sure you'll do really well as a captain. Uh can you please give me more tips on body language? Yes, there are a few more. I think maybe two or three tips which I can tell you. How you dress up is very important and how you carry yourself speaks a lot about your confidence. Body language is very very important. When you're batting, when you're negative in your mind, your bat tends to keep moving here and there. It doesn't come straight. So you have to really focus and have a clear mind going there. How you when you go to bat, how you stand, the you're, you're not so negative, you're not scared, you're not timid, but you know, you're just aggressive and positive. This See, sends a signal to the opponents saying that you are ready and you're geared up to bat. So automatically you are in the front foot, you know. It's very important to have a good facial expression because that brings in confidence and you have the edge over the bowler. So yeah. body language is very very important. Then also second thing is, you know, your partner is very important. How you bat with your partner, how do you communicate with your partner, your communication skills when you hit a ball, you just shout yes or no. your yes or no is louder so that the opponent i mean the partner your partner can play well and the third thing is also the signs there are so many things that happen in a cricket field which you need to be really aware for example when you're batting here the keeper who stands is always watching your leg and he's moving here and there so you have to be very alert you are the captain so your wicket is very important and also you need to really watch the full ground the whole field fielders are moving the bowler what he is doing whether he is changing his run up whether he is coming quickly or what he is doing with the ball also balwinder please understand the timing of the ball read the bowler from the beginning notice the changes that he brings in his run up speed because he can always alter the speed balwinder also keep looking at his wrist it is very important for a batsman to look at the bowler's wrist and his front shoulder because this will help you judge the ball much earlier concentrate on the point of release and see how the bowler is using his crease and his feet movement and this will help you bat much better balwinder all these things you have to be aware of. thank you very much for all your tips no problem balwinder it's always a pleasure